Okay, get your sweetie in the mood <laughs> on Valentine's Day with a little aphrodisiac. The liquid muse Natalie Bovis is mixing up some love potions. <laughs> Hi there, Natalie. Well, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> now, Natalie, of course, is a professional mixologist, published two books, Pregatinis and The Bubbly Bride, which we've talked about several times here on the show. I'm you have. Fan Thank of both you. of those books. Thank you. You're so sweet to always mention those. Well, and where can people get them? <clears throat> uh, Amazon. Okay, Amazon, good. Yeah. And a third one coming out? Yes, Edible Cocktails comes out in March, so that'll be very exciting. That's fun. Yeah. Now, okay, more fun than that is talking about love today, right? Because <laughs> right? I can't believe it's already Valentine's Day next week. So what are you mixing up for us today? Well, these are some cocktails that have sort of an aphrodisiac uh, slant, if you okay. will. Because, you know, why not? Why not? Um, so, and actually, uh, a couple of them, the first one, Oyster Shot, is in Pregatini's yes. for before you're pregnant. There's a chapter on pre-pregnancy, like when okay. you're getting in the mood to make that to find, Pregatini yeah, time. To have the Pregatini <laughs> needs, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, we're going to start off with um, a little bit of tomato juice okay. in a shot glass or a little uh, cute... Um, brandy glass like this. Add a little bit of lemon. Fresh lemon. A little dash and Natalie of lemon. always uses fresh ingredients. Always fresh ingredients. Yes. Yeah, there's just no need to, to buy the bottled lemon. Like, come mm -hmm. on, why would you do that when you got gorgeous lemons on the tree? Exactly. A little salt and pepper. You can put a little bit of bitters or Tabasco or Worcestershire Ooh. to give it a little touch of flavor. And I'm, I was trying to shuck these. I'm really not that good of an oyster shucker. You? I'm, I'm, not, I'm really not a good oyster shucker. <laughs> there are some things I'm good at. Shucking oysters, not one of them. Well, luckily, I have some pre-shucked ones here. Well done. Because I will do that for you. <laughs> Thanks, Whole Foods. Those are so, so And then, so of course, funny. don't forget the fun part. A little bit of vodka. Yes, so absolutely. I'm going to put about three, about three quarters of an ounce of vodka in here. Oh, my gosh. Now, last night, I did oh. something stupid. I, I mixed a lot of junk food. So, yeah. my stum I don't know if my stomach can handle an oyster this early in the morning, but I will try it at some point, I We promise. can come back to this. We can come it's going to be it. messy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love oysters, and I'm totally going to eat it. <laughs> but really, that's the truth. I mean, oysters, they are. They're an aphrodisiac. I know. Well, that's, I mean, they well, are. And, and they say that the zinc in the oysters uh -huh. is really good for, I don't know, something to do with your libido. So. Really? Interesting. Hey, why not? I like oysters anyway, so. See, that's good. If, if there's the added benefit of a little extra loving, why not? Why not? Nobody can say no to love. <laughs> okay, so that's love potion number one. Number one. <laughs> All right, so next I'm going to do um, a drink, which is, now this one is also in Pregatini's, the non-alcoholic version is right, in Pregatini's. Right, of course. It's called Pants on Fire. <laughs> <laughs> pants on the ground, <laughs> pants on the ground. <laughs> so this is for um, the chapter when you are now being non-alcoholic and okay. working on making that baby. Okay, got it. All right. Um, however, today we're gonna add some tequila because come on we're not pregnant we're not no, trying to get no pregnant. we're not and Valentine's Day around the corner this is a good night to go out kind of have an excuse for a couple of drinks with your sweetie exactly oh so was that my rinse. favorite stuff that you make yeah that, so that this is a, a chili and salt rimming powder how cool is that um, now spicy spices are also meant to be an aphrodisiac because mm -hmm. you know like when you're trying to lose weight and they say oh eat spicy food it they boosts do. your metabolism mm -hmm. well it has the same effect on your on your on your love metabolism Interesting. too. Interesting. So, yeah, so we're going to put a little bit of... And of course of, you add New Mexico style whenever you add a little spice to something. Of course, a little red chili. Come on now. Yes. I and have so, to say, I've had drinks with that on the rim that you've made and they they are really good. I, I don't know anybody else that makes them like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, obviously over at uh, Secreto Lounge, they do that. I have I to... Uh, so if you're wanting to try that um, in a bar, really you good. can go there. Um, so that's always really fun. All right, okay. so we got the jalapenos. We got some lime juice. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of... Uh, uh, nice guava though. juice here. I'm just going to put a little bit to muddle. Just get a little, little bit more liquid in here to muddle these jalapenos. Okay. So, muddling, of course, is when you're pressing down on mm -hmm. an ingredient. You want to mix and get the flavors out. You don't want to mash it into a paste. Okay. You just want to press and get the flavors and oils out of the, the herbs or Got fruit it. or vegetables that you're using. Muddling is easier than so. chucking. <laughs> <laughs> that the truth. It that's really I'm, is. That's why I'm a mixologist and not a chef. Exactly. Sorry. All right, now I'm going to throw about an ounce and a half of tequila in here. So I've put about two ounces of guava juice, an ounce and a half of tequila. Okay. I am now going to... This is a wild drink, this Natalie. Up. Oh, yeah. It's all kinds of fun, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. All right, so we're going to shake this up. 
And this is my this this is my kind of backup shaker. This okay. isn't necessarily a professional shaker. That's but, like what I have at home. But most people have these at home. Yeah. So you know, so they work. It's the popular one. Yes. So now we're gonna strain this. I'm actually gonna double strain this. Double straining is when you have a little sieve underneath to catch any little bits of jalapeno seeds or okay. you know little things that if you're muddling berries, you want to use uh -huh. a double strainer because really? you'll catch the little extra bits. Like the pulp. Yeah, like the, like pulp or um, especially if you're using fruits like. See inside this sieve oh, yeah. how there's all the seeds. Th there's little bits of seeds. You don't want those floating no. around in your drink. Mm -mm. Okay, Not and then sexy. we're gonna drizzle this. <laughs> if you're drinking non-alcoholic now, you would leave out the tequila, of course. Okay, got it. And you would drizzle with a little bit of grenadine, which is non-alcoholic. Right. We're doing tequila, and we're yes. doing a little bit of berry liqueur, which we're gonna Ooh. go just drop in the middle and see how it creates this pretty oh, layered yeah. effect. Because the liqueur is heavier, it's more viscous because of the sugar, so it sinks to the bottom. Okay. So it's very pretty. Do you want nice. to this? I will try this. I will try I it. I think you're going to like Just that. Just a little And taste. you like the spice. Yeah, I do. So. <clears throat> Natalie, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I have way more fun actually with my girlfriends on Valentine's Day than I ever do with guys. I think that's what that I'm going to end up doing anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm divorced. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, but so, this, could, right. this could bring some love into your life, this one. Oh, oh, big time. Yeah. All right, now, Valentine's is Day is not complete without chocolate. Of course it's not. And of course, I don't have chocolate without liquor in some form or another. Right. Because that's just how I roll. Because you're a mixologist. <laughs> Yeah, that's, Justi a, that's, that's a good justification, right? That's a nice right? way of putting it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, these are my that's absinthe good. brownies. Okay. And this is a recipe that I created um, a, a couple years ago, and I give them away for Christmas. Okay. So um, so this, I just, you can just take a regular brownie mix okay. if you don't want to do it from scratch. Mm -hmm. Instead of water, substitute absinthe. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, or it calls for water. Okay. Then you make a glaze. Ooh. Now, my mom makes this awesome rum cake. Your mom's a great cook. She is. I know. Yes. Thanks for coming over. Yes. Um, so, uh, we, so I take a very similar approach to, as to the glaze you put on a rum cake. Okay. But here I'm using butter, Ooh. yummy, Yum. sugar, yummy, and yes. absinthe. So you Ooh. drizzle that over the brownies. Here, try one of these. You're I will definitely like try one. And of course, for today's recipes, you can um, go to our website, right? Yes, Casa.com or liquidmuse.com. Liquidmuse.com for all of the great information that this fantastic mixologist, my good friend Natalie, has to offer. Oh, thank you <laughs> for having me, Cheers. Sweetie. Cheers to Valentine's Day. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> coming up next on New Mexico Style, we're going to rock around the clock. One, two, three, five, four, five, five. Woo. <laughs>